concludes his special report on evil rock by examining the possible connection between heavy metal and one of the most heinous crimes Los Angeles has ever seen. Larry. Thank you very much, Terry. The crime is the walk-in killings. The suspect, Richard Ramirez. And the question is, did the band ACDC drive him onto a personal highway to hell? The night was March 17th when the walk-in killer struck in Rosemead, murdering Dale Okazaki in her new condominium. The killer left behind a baseball cap embroidered with the logo ACDC. Hail Satan. A former roommate of Richard Ramirez says the suspect was attracted to the satanic themes in the ACDC album called Highway to Hell. His favorite song, The Night Prowler. The walk-in killings have intensified the debate over violence and devil worship in some heavy metal music. Many times it perpetuates the anger, the loud music, the, the beat of the music, the intensity of the music, the words to the music, oftentimes promote anger. But when it comes to ACDC, rock journalists disagree. That band is about as tongue through cheek as you get. It is very hard for me, for example, to swallow the widely printed assertion that their very name is some form of uh, 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 anagram for Antichrist. We attended an ACDC concert at the Forum two weeks ago, a sold-out event that, in all honesty, seemed rather tame. In fact, the band's fans seemed somewhat bedeviled by all the fuss. Well, I'm not into the devil or nothing. I think they're just a good rock and roll band. They groove. I see no difference between them and any other heavy metal band. They're, they're good rock and rollers. You know, the sort of people we are, if you were really interested in being devil worship, you would go off and do that. You know, it's an art in itself. <laughs> and it's, it's about as far away from what we are as anything. But three days later... The rock group ACDC has cancelled its concert for tonight at Costa Mesa Pacific Amphitheater. Local community groups reportedly pressured the promoter to tame the show down. ACDC instead withdrew. You're being told what you can do and can't do, you know. And uh, that's not what this country is all about. And by the way, Angus Young says he named that band more than a decade ago after he noticed the electrical plug on his sister's sewing machine. On it was a tag. It read ACDC. Paul. How about that, huh? Thank you, Larry. You Good bet. series. That's it for us. Nightline next here on ABC tonight. Ted Koppel.